Okay, well, can you hear me? I think so. Oh, fudge. Gosh darn it. iPad. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is my grand experiment tonight. You can see your chat's on the screen. It's pulling it in from Twitch, YouTube, Owncast, and IRC. And I'm streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Owncast from one location, all without setting, all without paying for like Restream or StreamYard or any of those other ones. So if you really want to know how I do all that, I can talk about it, but I want to play some games. This is, it, it feels like it's a house of cards ready to blow down. Um, <laughs> Elastic Link. If you go to goesgeek.com goes slash live, there's links to everything. So you can, there's a link to connect directly to the IRC channel by putting in your, your nickname. Um, if you just go to live.goesgeek.com, you can see the own cast and do it from there. Let me pull up my mail so i can i can't <laughs> i didn't change the name of the stream on twitch so i still think i still think it says um that i'm repairing a uh, macbook 2011 which is working well by the way i was just scarfing down my supper <laughs> and my supper everybody should be impressed my supper was subway it wasn't, ah, uh, why did that not get sent to me? There it goes. Five, one, six, seven, six, zero. Okay. I just need to sign into Twitch so I can change the name on there. I changed the name on YouTube. So right now there are two people on Twitch, <laughs> nobody on YouTube. Either it's not working or everybody hates YouTube. Can I pull up my... Now it just says no can... And Owncast has four viewers. So five viewers out there. That's not bad. And 11 people in the chat though. <laughs> so I don't know if there's just people in the chat not watching it or if the other numbers aren't right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, edit stream info. That's what I want to do. Edit stream info. Yeah, it's not replacing the battery in my MacBook. Ugh. Why don't you have a... Playing Atari. I don't care about my... Go live notification because that ship has sailed. Okay, done. So let's switch over to my new scene. Ooh, look at that. You still see my mug down there. Tonight's stream brought to you by Diet Mountain Dew. Come on, Pepsi Cola. Serious lag going on, like 90 seconds. So I'm, it's probably with, uh, that's, that's good to know. I can see about what I can do. I don't know if, and so I stream to Nginx and then Nginx pushes it out to all the other services. So you have the delay from the other services, which could be 15 or 20 seconds. And then the lag for me streaming, my delay is five seconds or so with Twitch. I'm drinking Pepsi right now. Is the chat readable? Because I'd hate for you all to not be able to see the witticisms from your peers that are watch reading. So maybe it's just owncast. Maybe there's a... I just got it working. I didn't really look to see. If you notice, it's got all the generic uh, setup that it had before. Stream output. 
latency buffer. It's right in the middle. Do I dare move it? Can I do it while I'm streaming? I'll leave it as it is for right now. So I, I'll play around with that latency after tonight. So tonight, first game up. Uh, oh, I didn't look at the who did it. Over on Atari Age, there is a new... Uh, somebody had converted over... That's not going to let me sign it. Oh, it did let me sign it. Okay. Somebody had converted Enduro, which is one of my favorite games for the 2600, over to the 8-bits. And I forgot to see who did that because I want to give them credit. <laughs> there it is. Enduro ported. Is this the one? Yeah. Then the 2600 man. And the Great American Cross Country Road Race, I've never played. I, re I distinctly remember trying to pirate it. And my copy didn't work that I pirated. So I didn't get it. So let us fire up the old Atari here. I don't know why the AVG cart goes into self-test mode the first time. Oh, I changed my big monitor so I can see what's going on. There it is. I have, <laughs> and all I've done is fired it up to make sure it did work. And it did, and I was impressed. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I've never made it past day three. And there's five days. Man, we'd play this all the time. Ah! Need to turn it down a little bit. Is that too loud in the stream? I remember riding with our parents at night after we've been playing this for several days and you just all you see is the cars lights from this as you're riding with your parents. Man, this is really good. Wonder why Activision didn't just release update the graphics a little bit, but just release this. Ah, lousy snow. I must be driving in like Ohio because it goes from nice weather to snow. Fudge! Snow. Now, if somebody will just port Indy 500. Just turn it! Would port Indy 500 over to the 8 bits, I would be in heaven. That would be amazing. Fudge. The I I I've got a Keychron Key Keychron K8 for here, and I also bought one for work. I'm very happy with it. My biggest complaint with the Keychron is I like the compact keyboards, but why oh why did they waste the space in the upper right corner for the light backlight key? Come on, give me a home key and a delete key up there, not a backlight key. And I did learn function one backlight just turns it off and locks that so you can't accidentally hit it. Because what I'll do is accidentally hit it, and then the keyboard starts doing one of those freaky... If you're one of those people that do put your keyboard in, like, disco mode, I don't like you. So is Owncast 
So I'm assuming the people that are on owncast are the ones seeing the biggest delay. Is this game play exactly right? Because I should not have finished that first day before I got to this part. Does it start me off with less cars? Am I on an easier mode? Is there an easier mode? I don't remember switching game levels. I just remember you stick it in, hit reset, and go. But yeah, I should never, I should not have been able to complete the first day before I got to the fog. Your keyboard is in disco mode. I don't know if I can talk to you anymore, Murky. <laughs> I mean, I like Flash as much as the next person, but my goodness. Let's see if I can get there. Yeah, that was way too easy for day one. Okay, 300 cars on day two, which I believe is correct. But... Fudge! Oh, I didn't hit it. Ooh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, this plays very, very well. If I only uh, had, I haven't added my uh, composite S video out to my 7800, because then we could compare it with the original. <laughs> these, maybe this summer. I've been saying that probably for a couple summers, because I know I bought the stuff to do it. Several years ago. Should do that as a stream. Adding S video and composite to my 7800. Because I don't. I don't think I have a 2600. In this place. I'm trying to think if I do. Because I've been using my 7800 for 2600 games forever. Ah. Put the game into the upper left quad. Oh, because it's not all filled in. Well, I can't do anything about it right now. Because I got 150 more cars and it's getting dark. On a lone summer's evening. Oh, that's on a train though. That's a good night driving car. Night driving song. <laughs> Kenny Rogers does anything with night driving. Frack. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing if I don't at least make it to day three. Uh, I hate it when those two cars are right where they can't get around them. Gosh darn it, what was I doing there? It's going to get foggy. Seemed like they used that, um, what's that audio illusion where you, that sounds like the pitch just keeps on getting higher and higher. Did they use that for the, for the car sound on this? Cause it seems like it never gets, ah, I knew that. I'm not going to make it. Disco mode. Yeah, I'll show you in just a second. Ah, ah! Yes, yes, start beeping at me with 60 some cars to fly. Okay, after I said, well, it was pretty easy to get past that first day, and I'm not going to make it past the second day. Nope. Nope. 16! I was so close! So you're saying I should make this a little bit bigger up here. 
<laughs> you guys didn't tell me you weren't even watching the screen. You guys were looking at my Atari Age browser. <laughs> so you guys didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, I'm getting this out of studio mode because I do stupid things. <laughs> We told you, I must have missed it. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, here, I'll fix it. We'll play it again. So, something like this is freaking disco mode. What? What's the purpose? Why? Tell me. Why do I want my keyboard flashing like that? Shepherd tones. Yes, that's it. Okay, well, now that I know what I'm trying to do, it's pretty. My, the, the K8, because I'm cheap, it only does it in white, so it's kind of boring. Let's just... Because everybody, all the good streamers reconfigure their scenes live on the, on the broadcast, right? Let's put that at the top of everything. There we go. Could make it bigger. You guys don't need to see those bottom ones that much. Okay, well, I feel pretty stupid now for <laughs> not switching scenes. I just need to not use studio mode over here. Man, my head's way too big in that picture. How do I make it smaller? We gotta make my head smaller. Because no one wants to see all that. There we go. That's a little better. I don't have all those cool looking scenes like real people have. All right, that's good enough for now. Oh my goodness. Now, and then, um, and then, now the mode I'm in, every time you hit a key, it does that. What, what, what? <laughs> Why do you need that? And then I have to sit here and hit the the mode until it gets back to oh in the breathing mode. Oh my goodness! Ah. What? <laughs> okay, that one I can handle. <laughs> it's mindset to that. Yeah, that's 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 nuts. Okay, go back. There we go. Okay, so now you can see Enduro running on the Atari 800XL without uh, it seeing it in this camera over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's do it. Here, I need some liquid courage. No way. I love that keyboard. I was enjoying watching that forum post. Hey, my streams are the most exciting streams on the internet. Okay, here we go. First day is pretty easy. Well, I said that last time and and we only we never wrote down our high scores for miles because I guess that's something I mean, guess I guess that's the high score, but we were always just more fudge more on getting through the days. And I've made it past day three once, I think. Woohoo! 
Look at me go. No. Ah. Lousy snow. Yeah, we love playing kick the, was it kick the can on the Indy 500? In the snow. Can you play that in the snow? I seem to remember you could. Ah. <laughs> I watch because it makes Sega have a drink. <laughs> yeah, I am. If you're coming here to watch somebody good, you've come to the wrong channel. I do enjoy myself, though. I like when I bring up Activision with today's Utes. Because they only know it from the what is it? Call of Duty? They do Call of Duty? Battlefield. I don't know. I don't play those games. I don't need... <laughs> I don't need to be really uh, depressed on my gaming skills. I do fire up Fortnite every once in a while. I don't think I fired up Fortnite on the stream for a while. My Fortnite skills are basically hide... Until you get down to just a couple people and then hide some more until it's just you and the other guy. And I hope you get lucky. And I've never been lucky. I've been the last, second to the last. I've come in second a couple times. But I guess that's not really the right way to play it. <laughs> Sitting in a bush for most of the game. <laughs> but those bushes make me feel safe. I'm assuming this is the original code from from the 2600 with some things fixed for the graphics cuz the 2600 can do some graphical tricks that the Atari cannot. But the Atari has more memory so you can kind of fake some things that you couldn't do on the 2600. Uh, gotta remember I have a break. <laughs> Bushes do protect against chaffing. <laughs> if you have chaffing playing Fortnite, I think you're playing it wrong. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I lose my concentration when I make up jokes. <laughs> but at least you guys can see it now. I should have dug out my Nintendo since I saw the Super Mario Brothers movie this past weekend. It's pretty good. I haven't played all of the games, so anything from like Donkey Kong 64, I was totally miss those references and they just seem to throw in so many references I watching it I was thinking you know what leave something for the next movie it was impressive at the be this isn't a spoiler at the beginning there's an arcade game of Donkey Kong but it's called the original um, Jumpman game which I thought that was a nice touch that they got that part right And Chris Pratt did an excellent job with Mario's voice. I was a little apprehensive going into that, but no, he 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 only sounded like Chris Pratt a few times. So he's been practicing or seeing a voice coach. I don't know what he's been doing, but oh, speaking of Chris Pratt. I saw today on TikTok that 
The Lego movie came out nine years ago. The first Lego movie. Nine years. That can't be right. But it was on TikTok, so it has to be right. Such a conundrum. Hey, at least I'm doing better this time than I did that last time. My problem with this game is I never break. I see it coming and I should just there. See, I should just break like that. But half the time I forget. Then when we get close here, I want to watch my cars to see how close I am to getting done. And I'm going to die. I'm not die. I'm going to get delayed. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a lot better this time. I'm going to make it to day three. Don't get cocky, kid. Hey, Billy. All right. Three hundred of them. Let's do this. I've only made it past day three once in my life. This, this is Enduro, uh, the 2600 game that was just converted over for the Atari 8 bits. Ah, I'm not going to get through this day. Boy, I'm so glad to have this now for the Atari. I'm going to be playing this a lot more. Easy does it. Easy does it. Fudge. Easy does it. I haven't gone online or there. What's the world record in this? Is there videos of it? I'd like to see it. Oh, I'm not even halfway through and it's getting dark. Come on, 80 some cars. Slow and steady. Whoa, that was a nice one. Whoa, can't do that when they're full cars, but apparently the collision boxes are just the lights and not the rest of the car. No! 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Day three. I prefer the activate. I prefer River Aid on the Atari 8 bit over the 2600 version. Er, come on. These guys go faster. Boy, you don't want to get hit because you lose too many cars that you have to then pass again. It's like every time I go on a trip, see all those cars, I'm going to end up having to pass them. I hate when you stop for gas and then you see all these cars that you were just passing that you end up having to pass again. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta get through half of them before nighttime. No! <laughs> Apparently, you're not hitting them hard enough. Got to hit them hard enough to stay down. Come on. Will I make it to day five? Gosh darn it. Even a little animation on the wheels. I mean, it looks like they're spinning. I just saw that one. Ah, I'm not going to make it. A hundred cars by morning. I don't see that happening. But that's quitter talk, though. We're going to try it. Mm -hmm. Calm, just be calm. Don't get anxious. the force to flow through you and then run into that this one should have been ported well I guess then they do great American cross-country whatever the rest of that name of that is I'm your one YouTube viewer now oh let's go check the numbers uh, twitch Four viewers. Oh, it says two on YouTube and three on Owncast. So three plus two, nine people viewing. Sweet. I think that's more than I usually get with uh, when I just stream just on Twitch. Oops. What? <laughs> Why did basic come in? Why is that green? 
<laughs> Why did basic come in on? Well, something doesn't seem quite stable over here in my pile of I don't know why it's greenish. Here in Pat, this is this is my original 800 XL from. Look at that bad boy. My original 800 XL from 1984. At 19, yeah, Christmas of '84. I've got a AT keyboard, 32 and 1 OS, and a Rambo 256K memory edition. And no screws. It could be power supply. Oops, plug a card in. Oh, I bet my, I have a OS with the, uh, Basic reversed. All right, let's find another game to play. Let's see what I have on this. I don't know what else I put on this thing. Pictures. Oh, fudge. Power cycle, please. <laughs> Um, and yes, Murky, the Super Mario Brothers was better than the 93 Mario Brothers movie. I've talked to people and they said Super Mario Brothers is their favorite video game movie. And really, that's a pretty low bar to... Do I hit something? I don't think there's... Oh, I guess we'll play this. I don't think my computer here is entirely stable. Oh, how come the video is not updating over there? Huh, that's weird. This is that uh, Atari 800 conversion. Screen, yes, I got your screen now. Man, just think if Atari would have released this version of Pac-Man. I mean, the at the time, the, the Atari Pac-Man on the computers looked really impressive. But this would have been even better. Oh, I'm not very good at Pac-Man. I've always thought about learning all the patterns and just so I can be impressive at the arcade, press the ladies. But you know what? From what I've learned is... Oh, shoot. A lot of girls my age are not that impressed. Maybe with Centipede. But they're not really impressed with my. And they're not really impressed with my uh, command line skills either. I mean, they should be. That just looks impressive when you're typing away at the command line on the keyboard. Oh, come back here. Oh, fudge. I didn't get it. So. This is another thing why Atari executives were terrible. For the 2600 Pac-Man port... Okay, they didn't give the guy enough time. What was I doing there? They didn't give the guy enough time to write Atari. But 
the worst part was they told him the only games that can have black backgrounds, this was the rule of Atari at the time, the only games that could have black backgrounds were space games. So a game like Pac-Man was not allowed to have a black background, which did not help. But they were just, from listening, talking and playing Pac-Man don't mix. From listening to the Antic podcasts, it, it sounds like they just were making... What the heck? It, it sounds like they were just making so much money, they thought they could do no wrong. Because it, by 82, they should have been pushing the next game system because the 2600 is five years old at that point and they decided now we're making too much money from this we're going to actually sabotage anything that could come close to hurt hurting our ah we're going to sabotage anything that could kill the golden glue goose so we have the 2600 being made until 1990. I don't know. what. When did they stop making the 2600? Frack. Okay, this, these are just practice. These are just practice ones. Because I should at least be able to get a free guy. I don't know why I try to get the fruit so much he's it's only worth a hundred points woohoo there we go that's better ah I didn't mean I blame the controller oh if I get through this one ah. E.T. was a good game and I will fight anyone on that. We got E.T., we played the crap out of it. The pits were annoying, yes, but that just means you sucked at it. And you had to practice more. Because you learned where the hitboxes were for the pits. and they uh, They weren't that bad once you got into them. I like how this slows down. Oh, I didn't go down. I think I'm going to have to get out a, a real joystick here. This game does have a little bit of slowdown. I don't know what I'm doing there. I have my 5200. And I have a flash cart for it, even. I've fired it up once or twice. I've got the gold-plated... Okay, let's just clear a screen. I got the gold-plated controller replacement. And... Oh, at a at a co conference, I bought a 5200 controller that the person changed the keypad and installed, how many keys are on there? 12? 12 switches, micro switches. I think this Sega controller is just crap. So the social stream seems to be working well of pulling in all of those chats. You can see the little icons beside the person. So you know if they're if it's the Kiwi they're on IRC, YouTube, Twitch. That's kind of cool.
Well, that doesn't look good. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> okay, I gotta get warmed up with these commands. So I have an asteroids cabinet in my office. So if I don't play this very well, whoops, apparently that's hyperspace. Ow, why is it? Okay, it's the controller because it keeps on... I don't think this would have sold for the home market because of the lack of color. But this is the Asteroids emulator. So you're playing the actual ROMs from the Asteroids game. So it doesn't get better than this. Hate that guy. Ugh. Hate that guy. Yeah, blame the controller. I'm going to swatch, swap it out after this. What? Okay. What controller do I have? Nothing in there. Okay, we're going old school. Play the games like they were meant to be played. None of this fancy, fancy 90s technology. I didn't even know about real asteroids. <laughs> so asteroids, fun fact, for whenever you guys write my book on my life. Okay, this one doesn't even go left, right. Oh, fudge. Asteroids was the first arcade game I ever played. Oh, I rolled over my microphone jack. So yeah, for some reason, I was in this dive bar at the age of 10 or 11, and I played Asteroids for the first time. Well, gosh darn it, don't have any get controllers that work around here. This is embarrassing. Well, we're going to find out. All right. Let's try the Epic joystick. Look at that. Nope. That time's out. Okay. Forward gives gas. Thrust.
wonder if this has keyboard controls, because I'd rather play with the keyboard so it mimics the arcade controls. Ah. Oh, I can't. So with the way the controls are, I can't thrust and turn at the same time. Huh. That makes it a little more difficult. Because in the arcade, it's just buttons. You have a left button, a right button, thrust, and fire. But yeah, diagonally does not thrust and fire. I mean, thrust and turn. Fudge. That's a lot of joy. <laughs> okay. Where's the big thing shooting at me? There's a spaceship on the screen. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, this is not as... The arcade version is more fun. I could see this would not work. Well, maybe, I don't know. Ah, I got you, though, punk. Hate that little guy. I got the slick stick. Another Wyco. I have asteroids for the 5200. Oh, let's look at the Pac-Man 5200, though. I wonder what fixed and conversion mean. Well, let's do fixed. Well, you know what? I picked this up in a lot. I didn't have this back in the day. I'll try Pac-Man with the slick stick. Which is also my stage name. <laughs> okay, something's not right. Why is the option key, like, stuck? Let's see if I can select Peach. Uh, yeah, I don't... Oh, man, it didn't start me at some hard level. Whoa! I like the speed! <coughs> oh, it's because I played it at a lot harder level. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, wonder if I should get my, wonder if there's something not right with my keyboard. Because I have that adapter in it so I can plug a, I <laughs> use my Model M with this computer a lot. My Model M, IBM Model M keyboard. Which is awesome. Go left. Run away. Let's just clear the board.
I like how they use the default font for the high score at the top. Did the 5200 have a font? I think that was the only thing in the ROM. It was like a 2K ROM for the OS. And half of it was just for the font. Thank goodness that's over. <laughs> Ten viewers. Wow. So I like it. So the biggest thing is latency with owncast, and I think I can move that down for the next stream and see what that is going to be like. Oh, what do I want to play out of here? Let's look at this Asteroids game. That's great. Okay. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the slick stick here. <laughs> Why are all my joysticks bad? I do have some deoxit. I'm going to have to tear these things apart. Oh, got him, though. Okay. The Wyco, I like the Wyco because you can set it on the, set it on a surface. There's only two of them, though. Gosh darn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't know about this game. Come here. Whoa. Boy, this game. So when you're playing regular asteroids, for some reason, you do have inertia, uh, friction in space and your ship will slow down. This one doesn't really slow down that much. But those... <sighs> Those meteorites really move. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'd have to play that one a little bit more to see if I really like it or not. Wizardly Disc. Okay, Owncast does have some great names that they come up for people. <laughs> okay, one more game. Oh, play something that I'm sort of okay at. I'm pretty good at Deluxe Invaders, but that's boring to watch. Micro gammon. That's what. That's what everybody needs to watch. Ooh, I can get my trackball and play Centipede Arcade. That's what we're going to do. One second. Let me get my trackball. Look at that trackball and all its yellow glory.
Okay, this is just this is just warm up. Okay, just warming up here. I gotta see how this plays differently than the arcade. Okay, this game is a little harder because you don't have the vertical space that the arcade does, and they don't get... Where's the Badgers? What, what centipede game has Badgers? Ooh, ASCII graphics. Okay, come on. I'm better at this than in the arcade. Some pretty good graphics on the shooting of the mushrooms and the spider. I mean, the fleas don't look very good, but Ah. Well, those fleas are just relentless. So after the Super Mario Brothers to be so popular, I'm waiting for Atari to just start licensing every game they have. I got hung up there. Licensing every game they have for movies. Can't wait to see what the Centipede movie's like. But you know what one game movie that I really enjoyed? Battleship. <laughs> that movie's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. If it's on, I will watch it. And Battleship, I mean, Rihanna is just amazing in it. She needs to have more movies where she's a Navy person. Can I blame the controller? <laughs> okay. That's it for this stream. This worked pretty well. I'll work on the latency for own cast, but the chat worked really pretty well. We had chat from four different services all brought in together, and I brought it up on screen. Yeah, that works. Okay. Hey, thank you for watching.